Okay gang, welcome back. I wanted to go ahead and go over a tutorial with you. Uh, here we are with what you were left with when you got your tutorial done. Um, we're going to be taking this, uh, go ahead and click on this uh, uh, snowflake, hit command C to copy, command N to create a new file. Go ahead and set it to letter, profile be print, artboards be two, and units be inches. Uh, orientation can be portrait. Say OK. It's going to create a new file. Two, docu uh, two artboards for us, or two pages. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit Command R to create a, um, or pull up my rulers. I'm going to pull, click on this ruler right here and pull down, and you will see a blue line show up. We are going to change the Y here to 5.5 space IN and hit enter. It's going to put it right in the center of the page. Change this one to click, click and drag out one from the side here. You can tell the guide selected when it turns colors. This one's blue. I'm going to click my X value be 4.25 space IN, hit enter. Now that's the very dead center of the um, page. I'm going to go ahead and hit click uh, with the black arrow tool command C to copy then I'm going to double click over here on this page and I'm going to go to edit paste in place and therefore we have dead center on both of these okay let's go ahead and lock this layer this will be our guides layer we can double click and call it guides G U I D E S okay let's create a new layer grab your circle tool Click and drag out your circle tool. Let's give it a green fill. Hold down Option, click and drag it to the center of the other one. So we both have the same on each. Now what we're going to do is go hit Command V. Or, oops, sorry. Go back to your original um, snowflake. Command, click on it, Command C, copy it, go to your new file, hit Command V to paste it. There it is. Grab your free transform tool, shrink it in size by holding down Option and Shift. Click and drag it right to the center, right over here. Line it up to where you believe the center to be. Okay. Click and drag it out just a hair, make it kind of go to the edge of this. Command C to copy, double click on this page, edit, paste in place. It's going to paste it exactly where it needs to go. All right, so now we have the front and the back of an ornament, should we ever choose to create a design of it. Um, we are going to grab our white arrow tool, click on the inner circle here, the inner star shape here. Um, I'm going to create a new layer, hold down option and click on this little red dot over here on the right and drag it up. Okay. Next I'm going to go to file, open, grab the headshot I've been using. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And here it is. It's pretty big. I'm going to go to my free transform tool which is this one right here. Hold down shift and option, shrink it in size. Command X, cut it. Now I'm going to go back to the document I'm currently working on. And I'm going to create a new layer and Command V, paste it. So with that being pasted, okay, so as you can see now, the I'm going to pull my layers panel over here so you can see it. If I turn this off, the image is in its own layer. I'm going to turn it off real quick. Turn off my base layer too. And over here, I'm going to change that to some color I will recognize. I'm going to change it to blue. So, layer 3 is open. I'm going to pull layer, um, my image layer, down below blue. And I'm going to turn it off real quick. See, I can tell by my image here that I need to shrink it to fit inside that star. So, I'm going to down, grab my free transform tool, hold down shift and option. 
move it right into place. Okay, maybe even come down a hair. Now I'm going to select uh, the black arrow tool, click on both, right click or control click, make clip and mask. Now when I turn on my star, you can see my image inside of it. Now I'm going to turn that off just for a second, double click on this and double click until I get to my picture here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and hit escape. Now you see my picture is growing. That's because I'm embedded in the mask. So I click on it, I can double click, move it around, make it smaller, and you get the idea. So anytime I'm embedded in the mask, you'll see it over here on the left, you'll see all this stuff right here. If you just hit escape, you come out of your mask, then you can turn your layers back on, and you can see kind of what you're dealing with. That's how you create a clipping mask, and that's also how you edit a clipping mask. All right, on the back end of the, the ornament, this part here, let's go ahead and click all these here and fill them with uh, uh, with a, with some some information. Let's grab a circle tool, create a new circle out, and what I want you to write or fill this area with is information about what you might be grateful for for Christmas or something about you that I can put on the back of an, uh, um, one of these uh, things. Something about Christmas, maybe what you want for Christmas or something, just something interesting, inappropriate. So I'm gonna go ahead and type out some words. Okay, click and drag it over here. And then when I'm ready for printing, I, I got my ornament set up, I'm all good to go. You're going to go ahead and print uh, Command P. You'll print range 1 1. And you'll click print. And then once you do that, um, call me and I'll show you how to flip your page over because then we'll print the next part. Okay, signing off.